Hi Vijay, thank you so much for joining Digit and we are going to have a conversation about Facebook Lite and how good it's doing in India, how the user base is growing. Uh, could you first off uh, tell us about uh, what are you seeing in India, what kind of numbers are you seeing for Facebook Lite in India? Sure. So we launched Facebook Lite in India and broadly like globally end of June last year. So overall the reception to Facebook Lite has been really good. And in less than nine months, like I'm pleased to share today that Facebook Lite has crossed 100 million monthly active users globally. So, and it's not just the time frame, but the other interesting thing to note here is like Facebook Lite is the fastest like Facebook version to achieve this milestone, which is pretty incredible. Okay. Uh, so overall, I would say like India is one of like the fastest growing market for Facebook Lite. And just to kind of round off like, the top five places where Facebook Lite is popular in those particular order are like India, Mexico, Brazil, Philippines, and Indonesia. You say that India is one of the fastest growing markets in terms of uh, uh, the growth uh, for Facebook Lite, uh, but you know, network conditions are improving. Uh, do you still feel that in your research, have you still found out that you know people are uh, experiencing bad networks throughout the country? Is that the only reason that they're downloading Facebook Lite? That's a very good question. We think like that's one of the reasons. So we think like there are three primary reasons why people like choose to use Facebook. Like there are probably a lot more, but the top three would be like depending on the phone you use. So one of the things that we really pride ourselves in terms of what we, we are able to do with Facebook Lite is that it works on any Android phone. So it could be a $10 Android smartphone or it could be the latest and greatest uh, flagship phone, but it works great and the next one is the one which you brought up which is performance on slower slow bandwidth networks so it could be like edge or 2g like we have done a lot of optimizations to make sure that the app works reliably on slow networks could you share some examples of the optimization that you've gone through for the app uh, to make it viable for 2g networks definitely so in fact like one of the things we are going to actually publish today uh, as we share this milestone is an engineering blog post where we go into a lot more detail, but I'll give you like a good high level overview. The main reason is kind of the architecture of the Facebook Lite app itself and how it's a design that makes it work really well on 2G networks. The other important thing to note here is the network stack and the optimizations we have done on the network stack to specifically like reliably connect to slower conditions. So I think it's a combination of these and I would highly urge your uh, to, your viewers to also go look at the engineering blog post to kind of get more insight. Uh, we're actually sharing the overview of the entire architecture as well as a lot of the engineering design trade-offs we have made. And if you are a developer who's building an app for the next billion users coming online, this, is, this will be a very interesting thing. Great. Uh, now coming back to Facebook Lite and its user base, what kind of feedback have you received for Facebook Lite and uh, have you, how have you tried to improve and build upon that feedback yep. in India? So, that's, uh, so we've gotten a lot of positive feedback. Overall, the, thing, the first thing we heard once we launched the app was we are so happy that you're addressing some of these. So we, it, it helped validate some of the hypotheses we had when we built the app. But on top of that, some of the, the biggest things we heard from people are, this is great, you've solved some of the fundamental kind of bottlenecks we had, but we want a few more new features was one of the asks. Like one classic example was videos. Mm -hmm. So when we launched Facebook Live, we did not support videos. And so that was one of like global common theme was support for videos. Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, we did plan support for videos like end of last year and it's one of and the most popular and fastest growing features in Facebook Lite. Uh, what are some of the you know other optimizations that you're planning in the future in terms of videos and photos to make them load faster? Could you share some details? Sure. So uh, with, with respect to videos, like one new feature like which uh, we are working on currently that we expect to launch in the coming months is what we call like the video play later. So think like you're in a you're in a slow network, not even slow, let's say even if you're in a 3G network here in India and you see a video story and you tap on the play button, you do find that a lot of times it takes like more than a few seconds for the video to load and play because uh, of the bandwidth. Yeah. So the thing that we're trying to do here is like once you tap play with this new feature, 
you can go ahead and do what else you would like to do within Facebook. Just go back, browse newsfeed, and get the photos instead of waiting for the video to load. And we would send you a notification once the video is downloaded and ready to play. Oh, okay, that's great. Uh, also, talking about uh, Facebook Lite for big screen phones, you know, it's not really optimized for a bigger screen uh, device, a tablet or a tablet. Uh, are there any plans to change that in the future? Are you working towards uh, yeah. making that also an option? That's a very good question. So, one of uh, the, the feedback we've also gotten is like, Initially, when we built Facebook Lite, we built it for like typical or low-end Android devices. Mm -hmm. But one thing we are finding now is people on like bigger resolution screen devices are also using Facebook Lite. Yeah, because such devices are growing. You know, people are exactly. buying tablets and tablets, and prices are coming down. The devices are becoming cheaper. So. Exactly. So they're growing more in popularity mm -hmm. as well as like we are finding people saying like we install both the Facebook. Okay. So we find people installing uh, the main Facebook Android app and Facebook Lite and we see them switching like back and forth depending upon the type of network they are in or if they want to save data, they mm -hmm. tend to use Lite and go back and forth between the two apps. Okay. So one thing we did hear from people is uh, the, the app right now is not optimized for like really good scrolling performance for example on larger devices. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that we are working on right now mm -hmm. which will improve how the app kind of renders and scrolls on mm -hmm. larger devices. Uh, what is the challenge that you faced uh, for the app to render on the larger device? So, as in what is the what are some of the roadblocks in you know that are already happening? So I think the roadblock is more in terms of an architectural decision we made okay. when we launched the app. Because when we launched the app, like I mentioned, we were more focused on kind of the typical Android device. Mm -hmm. But now, as we kind of see the usage patterns and we see that there is more demand mm -hmm. for people with larger resolution devices to also use light, mm -hmm. so we are now going back and making sure that from an engineering standpoint, we are able to also work well in terms of scrolling, for example, mm -hmm. on large devices. Uh, what about an iOS app? Why not an iOS app if you know if uh, Good Android phones also get Facebook Lite and expensive uh -huh. ones do as well. Yep. Uh, why not for iOS? No, that's a good question. So the main reason just being like a demand. So if you just look at uh, smart, let's pick India. Right? If you just look at smartphone penetration in India and you, if you look at the percentage of Android devices as opposed to iOS, like Android is overwhelmingly the majority. So our goal is like we want to first make sure that we address that market okay. but in the future if we do find there is a lot of demand for iOS we will revisit it but at this point we don't have any plans uh, to launch on iOS. It's not just India specific even you know world over. Yes. Uh, and the same you... trends continue right? Like so you're going over. by market share of of the yeah. Uh, ecosystem? Yeah we're just going by like demand in terms of like where can we have the like the most impact mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like solving certain problems mm -hmm. and the other thing too is like in Android the the range of devices also happens to be more. Like for example, like from the you can buy like a ten dollar Android smartphone today. So a lot of the fundamental challenges that we are trying to solve mm -hmm. also are tend to apply a little more for Android than for iOS. Okay, all right. Uh, what percentage of difference do you see in data usage uh, on Facebook Lite as compared to the main Facebook app? Yep. So this is going to vary quite a bit by usage, mm -hmm. but on average, like. We are seeing that Facebook Lite uses like far less data compared to the other versions of Facebook. Uh -huh. This is going to depend on a number of factors such as... Is there a number that you can put to it? We don't have like a specific number to share, but it, it is like significantly lower. Uh, and it, it will depend on kind of the quality of images and the other things you said. So the one thing I would recommend you do is like, given like you have both the apps installed, mm -hmm. like a good test case would be to just look at uh, the data usage for your case, like one day between this mm -hmm. and the other app. I don't have any specific stats to share on that. Okay, all right. Uh, my last question is, uh, do you have any plans on bridging the gap between the Facebook app uh, and the Facebook Lite app in terms of design? Uh, so that's also one of the feedback we have been getting from people in terms of like improving the user experience of Facebook Lite itself. Uh, so that's something like we have, we will continue to take a look at and see if 
we can update the user experience while staying true to some of the fundamental things that Facebook likes. But you're not looking to ape the main Facebook app to Facebook like, right? You're looking no. to be different. Exactly. So our goal is never to kind of bridge and support all the features that the main Facebook app does or to look identical uh, to the main app. Because if you think about it, there is a reason why we have two apps because we want Facebook Live to do something really well which is differentiated and adds value. Mm -hmm. And like the three things which I mentioned to you like working on any device, working well on phone networks and kind of the data usage optimizations is what makes Facebook Live unique. And we want to be able to continue to make sure that we do those core things well and all product additions in terms of what features we add or what user experience will be will kind of like boil back to will it help do these things. Alright, great. Thank you so much for joining us.